Well, the workers at another popular Twin Cities establishment plan to unionize. Kate Raditz is live in front of Spy House Coffee in Minneapolis with more. And Kate, this is uh, catching on. They're not the first employees in the city to push for this. Aaron, it's really a trend that we're seeing a lot more of in recent months. The Spy House coffee workers just spoke in the last hour here. They were talking about how challenging 2020 has been, uh, obviously for everyone, but they said in particular for service industry employees. They said it's been unprecedented challenges and really just a lot of uncertainty. They felt it, they felt it was the right time to stand up for themselves and to form a union. The Spy House coffee employees will be part of the Unite Here Local 7, would be part of the Local 17 union. Employees said they were inspired by the number of other local establishments that have also moved to unionize in recent months. Now, responses from employers in this case, they've been really all over the board. For example, Lawless Distilling uh, and Stillheart Distillery Cocktail Lounge, when they announced their plans to unionize management, pretty much voluntarily recognized their union right away. When Surly employees announced that they planned to unionize just last week, it was announced just two days later that the brew hall would close indefinitely. Now, representatives for Unite Here Local 17 will be sending a letter to Spy House Coffee Management today asking them to recognize the new union. We decided to unionize uh, at this time, especially because the people who are on the front lines working at the cafes, um, we are not feeling protected. We are not feeling like our voice is being heard. Um, and so it came to the point where we wanted to unionize. And we need to be part of the decisions that directly impact us and directly impact our customers. Spy House Coffee has six locations in Minneapolis and St. Paul. They said here today that the union would represent 39 of their employees across five locations. Erin. All right, Kate, certainly a trend we're seeing. Thank you.